Okay, Morrison's grocery haul this week. I spent £43, which wasn't too bad. I didn't actually get much fresh stuff just because I've got loads in my fridge still, like carrots, broccoli, um, and also I've got, oh, the, the berries didn't look that great either, so I didn't get too much fruit, but I've still got quite a bit in the fruit bowl, and I've got a whole load of grapes as well. Um, but what I did get, I got stringless beans. They looked really nice. I got some baby spinach, baby kale, and ruby red cards as like a salad mix and I also got some spinach on its own as well. We go through a lot of spinach so um, I'll be adding that to meals and stuff. I've got some of these breakfast mushrooms, they just look really good and we're going to have steak tomorrow so I think steak and mushrooms would be really good. Um, I've got some of these little sweet clementines, it's kind of the season soon isn't it? So I've got some of those, they look really nice. As well as bananas, some um, ready to eat avocados, some sweet and crunchy stir fry. I'm going to have stir fry this week. Bean sprouts to go with that and some rice noodles. I got cucumber and then I got a big bag of courgette. This was £1.50, which I don't think was too bad. They're a good size as well. Okay, so then I got some snack sausage rolls. They're kind of in the bakery fresh section and obviously they'd be great for pat lunches and just generally lunches. But I chose some um, donuts. They are really good in Morrison's. My dad usually brings them over. So um, yeah, she chose strawberry ones. They didn't have custard. That's what she wanted. Um, got some green lentils, some farmhouse cheddar, some creamy brie, really fancied that. Um, some of these munch bunch, these were on off for a pound. And then I also got some froobs for school. Um, Dippin' Crunch, got two packs of those. Uh, they're a pound each. And then some Yorkshire ham again for sandwiches, some pepperoni sharers. I was actually going to buy this, the little individually ones, but I couldn't find them. So these were a pound. I think they're just whole bag so I can divvy them up for again put them into lunches and stuff um, I've got some pad thai stir fry sauce for our um, stir fry this week with chicken thought I'd just try that haven't tried the pad thai sauce before um, you know unless it's like been brought in a restaurant uh, some unsalted butter we've got some strawberry jams so we've run out Violet wants this for lunch before she goes off to school today it's her first day at school so she goes at 12, so we're going to have tomato soup for lunch. Not in her school uniform. <laughs> and then she also wanted some proper hot dogs. So, yeah, basically the bad ones. But these were a pound. Um, and then some baked beans. Um, and then some skimmed milk. They didn't have any of my milk on offer that I really like, like the coconut almond or anything. So I just thought I'd get regular. I need it um, for baking as well. So, yeah, that is that section. Okay, so last day we went a bit crazy on the carbs and gingerbread, but um, yeah, I picked up these first, gingerbread men, I just thought they will last anyway if we don't use them within the next week and they're kind of individually wrapped. Again, great for lunches, great for snacking, whatever, after school. Um, wholemeal sliced loaf, really fancied that. Um, Alice obviously at school, so we're doing a lot of sandwiches. And then I thought, I saw these and I wasn't going to get them, but then I thought, oh, after school, I have got quite a few different... Um, what is it called? You know, the squeezy sugar icing. Um, I've got a couple of those already because they only one in there, which is kind of annoying because they'd have to share it otherwise. But anyway, um, again, they could go off, to, one could go off to school really as a treat. Um, soft rolls and some finger rolls, they were two for a pound for hot dogs and again for lunches or whatever. Uh, cream crackers and then Violet chose skips. She's already had a bag, so it's Graham. So we're down to four bags. Um, and then I got some flowers, I got the mixed rose bone bouquet which is £2 which I thought were really, really pretty. And then I thought we could put the Dixophilia uh, 167 with it, so I think that's quite a nice combination, it's just really girly and pretty. And then I also found these in the reduced section which were £10 down to £129 and they just look like that. I know they're not going to last like, really well, maybe a few days, but for £129 which was a good deal I think I like the greenery uh, foliage in there so that is pretty much everything then I'll show you my meal plan okay so a couple of these we didn't actually have last week I have no idea what happened last week I don't know what we even had I can't even remember to be honest the week was so such a blur anyway so I'm going to do gnocchi bolognese um, again I have a recipe if you look at my recipe playlist uh, it will be there uh, so gnocchi bolognese we're going to have that with broccoli I'm going to do steak we've got some of our own steaks 
with the big mushrooms and new potatoes I've got in the fridge and I'm going to put that with either like those stringless beans or peas or something and then I'm going to do the turkey meatballs again this is kind of like a freezer meal I didn't pull that out of the freezer last week I think Graham might have brought home quite a bit of fresh meat um, so yeah I've got turkey meatballs I'm going to make just homemade and then I'm going to do that with courgette um, and then we're going to have chicken stir fry with rice noodles and then we're going to have hot dogs and salad so that is basically a meal plan. Um, basically Saturday and Sunday we'll just see what happens. But yeah, 